Hi, it's Hope and welcome to the video. This is going to be my TBR for the Grishaverse Readathon. And what is the Grishaverse Readathon, you may ask? It is a readathon dedicated to the books in the Grishaverse by the Bardua, and those books are the Shadow and Bone trilogy, the Six of Crows duology, um, King of Scars, and Language of Thorns. If you don't know what any of those books are, I highly recommend you check them all out. They are all really good. But so this is a readathon that is based off of those books. So like the prompts are based on things of those. So if you don't want to get spoilers, spoilers, these might be a little bit spoilery. But I will leave the original blog post um, link down below as well as the Twitter for the readathon and. I am going to be um, posting a lot about this readathon probably on my Twitter, as well as what books I read for which prompt on my Instagram. So I will leave those linked down below as well. But so what I'm going to do is I have e there's five categories, one being teams, series, um, light slash dark, soldiers of the second army, and nations. If I look over there, it's because I have everything written down on my computer over here, and. For each of those, you have to pick one prompt. I, being me, picked two to three, depending on what the prompts were. So I'm going. I have, but I have one book that's like my main book for that category, and that is the one that I'm going to for sure read. And then the extras, I guess the extras, are going to be like if I decide I want to read those or if I want to do more. But you're only required to do read five books, one for each category as well as a bonus prompt which is basically read a book in the Grishaverse and I'm gonna start I'm gonna stop talking about everything and just start going so for the teams there is the second army the drags the Grisha I always struggle with this word trimulative Trimul I don't know and then Siltroher I don't I think I'm pronouncing that wrong but the main team that I'm going with is the Dregs, which is based off of Six of Crows. And for that, I'm re for that the prompt is read a book featuring the found family. And from for this, I am going to be reading The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. And um, I'm not really going to explain these books much, but the found family as aspect in this is there's a group of boys, uh, group of I think four or five boys. I don't really know much about this, and that's what I'm calling the found family because I've heard that these group of boys are more of a found family type aspect so that is what I am counting and for teams if I decide I want I want to do another one which that would be just like an extra read not actually including points for that team would be that Sildraher I think that again I think that's how you pronounce it and for that is read a standalone I'm going with more than just a pretty face by Saeed M. Masood and this is about a boy in high school just dealing with high school and a kind of very strict religious family and trying to break out of that bond of what his family wants from and this book is this book I have an uh, art copy of this like an ebook art copy cat will you shut up and this doesn't come out until August 4th I believe um, so just to let you know for series um the main one i want to do the main one i'm doing is six of crows which is read a book featuring a heist or crime and for that i am reading ace of shades by amanda foodie and this is kind of it this is a fantasy book about these gangs in a city that's kind of like las vegas inspired um this is a reread but i am so excited to be rereading this because the third and final book in this trilogy comes out in September. And if I decide to do any extras in the series category for Shadow and Bo Bone, which is read a book featuring magic, I would be reading A Darker State of Magic by V.E. Schwab. And this is in a world where there are four Londons, like there are four alternate Londons and you need magic to go in between them. Um, and we follow our main character whose name is I think Kel who can travel between these four alternate Londons and that's literally all I know that literally that is all I know this will be my first V.E. Schwab book which I'm excited because I said I wanted to read one of her books before the end of the year so I am doing that now 
And if I want to do another one in the series category, I, for Language of Thorns, which is read a fairy tale slash retelling, I will be reading Cursed by Thomas Wheeler, which is a King Arthur retelling where instead of King Arthur getting the sword, it is a um, girl. And the only reason I'm reading this is because the Netflix adaptation of this comes out on July 17th, I think, and I really want to read the book before I watch the show so that I can compare it and all that because that's one thing I love to do. For light slash dark, my main one is going to be The Darkling Read a Book with a Moon on the cover or in the title or read a black book. And for that, I'm picking Bone Crier's Moon by Catherine Purdy, and this is about um, a girl who is going to be the, the new bone crier, which is someone who, something to do with the gods and all that, and for her to become the new ma matriarch of the bone crier, she has to kill someone she's destined to love and all that. That is literally how all I can explain it. I don't know much about this, but I'm excited to read it. And if I decide to do a different one in the light and dark, I will be picking, I'll doing Sun Summoner, which is read a book with stars slash the sun on the cover or in the title or a white book. And for this, I'm going to be reading Under Shifting Stars by Alexandra Lados. And this book does not come out until September 29th, I think. I will put the date up if I'm wrong. Um, but this is about twins who lost their older brother recently, and it's just them kind of figuring out where they belong and one of the and one of the um, twins figuring out their gender expression den gender ident identity and all of that and it is I just feel like it's a book I will love for soldiers of the second army I my the main one I want to do is ethereal Nick I think that is how you pronounce that, and that is read a book featuring the elements on the cover or in the story, or read a blue book. And for this, I'm doing Shatter Me by Tara Maffey, and this is a blue book, plus it also has a little bit of like water on the cover, as well as like it has trees and all that, so I figured it counts for either blue or elements on the thing. And this is about a um, girl named Juliet whose touch is lethal, and this like military type thing is trying to use her as a weapon and she does not want that and that is just the brief definition of that and if i decide i want to do a second one i, I will be doing corporeal neck again i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but that is read a book with a body part in inside or on the outside of the cover or read a red book and for this i am picking the sum the summer of 998 by tay marley and this is about two about um, a boy and a girl in the year um, 1980, 1989 and it's just their love story and I I want to read this because I'm currently reading the like this is um, the summer of this bleh, the summer of 98 is a prequel to the QB bad boy me which I'm currently reading and these are like just cute books and I figured it'll be a quick read and this is one that I do also have an arc of this does not come out until the 21st of July I believe. Again, if I'm not sure, I'll put the date up here. Next for Nations, the main one I am going to be doing is Ferda, I think that's how it's pronounced, I'm not sure, which is read a Scam Scandinavian inspired book, and for that I'm reading Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. This is also that bonus prompt, which is read a book in the Grishaverse, and this is about a group of six people going on this heist and um all that i i'm brain farting on how to explain this um this is about six people going on this heist and this heist is la led by kaz brecker who is a like kind of like a gang leader and all of that um and it is about them trying to free this um inventor who invented this drug that the drug is plans on being used for bad and so they are um, trying to rescue him and I love this book because all the characters are morally gray and all that and this is a reread so yeah and then if I decide I want to do more I will be for Ravka 
read a Russian inspired book I will be reading Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan and I actually have no clue what this book is about I keep on seeing it on one of my Facebook pages so I'm going to read can't even try and guess and then if I want to do another one I will be doing Novi Zem which is read a book that takes place in Australia or by or any Oceania country or an author that is from Australia or an Oceania country and for this I will I might read Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman is Australian I believe um yeah I believe she's Australian so that that and this literally all I know is it is a sci-fi and it is a really popular sci-fi and it's something with like an AI or something I have no clue but this is one that I've heard a lot about and decided you know what fuck it I want to read it so that would be the prompt I do that so those are the I don't even know how many books that I might read um and all that like I will do wrap-ups and like a mid-month wrap-up and a final wrap-up of the month to just be like this is what I ended up reading so if you want to see what I did end up reading for these um either wait for those videos or follow me on Twitter and Instagram and I'll be posting about them there but I hope you enjoy this video bye